I hate public bathrooms, don't you? I try to avoid them at all costs, but sometimes you just gotta go. And sometimes they're a little unclear about which bathroom is which, or it's in some other language to be clever or something. At a certain point, it's just time to wing it, and hope to God there's a urinal around the corner. The urinal is an ingenious invention for men. Based on the tree, it gives us a much cleaner and more vertical way to relieve ourselves, but only if designed right. Ever get those bowl urinals? It's there, with no walls, and you're just kinda hanging out there over it. Then, some bathrooms take the normal model too far. To the ground. Aim is a little more important when you're peeing right between your shoes. Despite their downfalls, you'd think that the convenience of urinals would make the men's room almost enjoyable. That's when the various men's room characters come into play. We'll start with the weight behinders. Now, lines are usually more of a women's room ordeal, because apparently it's the place to be. Occasionally a men's room will have a line too. You already feel like you're on stage, and it doesn't help to have a weight behinder breathing down your neck. Then there's the crowders. These guys take the urinal next to you, no matter what. There's conversationalists. Nice day out today, eh? What's even worse are the stall talkers. Hey, this place makes the best quesadillas, huh? And what about those stall cell talkers? Oh, hi, honey. Oh, yeah, yeah, I definitely remember our anniversary. Oh, her? Uh, she's nobody. She's just a friend. Uh, I think I'm losing signal. There go. And then there's these dads who take their young daughters to go in the men's room. Daddy, look! He make a potty, too! Come on, Angel, don't look. I know it's the only thing they can do if Mom's not around, but I always feel like I'm creepy just for being in there. Okay, so obviously going number one in a public bathroom isn't as easy as it sounds. God forbid an intestinal situation arises that requires your immediate attention. That's when you need to enter the stall. Secure the handicap stall immediately if possible. It's like a little apartment in there. But of course, that's the first one to go, and that's when you end up in one of the regular stalls. A stall is like a little tomb with a toilet in it. And to make things difficult, the doors open in. You practically have to stand in the toilet to close the door again. Then there's these stalls that don't lock. The lock is ever so slightly offset. You might have also stumbled into one of those poorly constructed stalls. You know, the ones where the crack between the door and the wall is huge. It's like a window. Once you sit down, it's time to relax and do your thing. Unless you're on one of these automatic toilets. These toilets have an evil red eye that watches you, deciding when to flush. When you want it to, it refuses. I'm afraid I can't do that. But when you least expect it, the toilet attacks you with a cold, dirty jacuzzi for your backside. The stall does provide you with plenty of reading material. Some kid will write something, and of course, another kid, deeply offended, will have to respond the only way he knows how. Touché. Amazingly, the argument continues. These kids could be best friends, but little do they know that an intense battle is raging right behind the bathroom doors. When I was in high school, the bomb threats would always be bathroom graffiti. You'd read when it was all going to go down, and you'd be like, can you give me five more minutes? Once you're done doing your business and reading the wall, it's time to wipe. Now, toilet paper in your private bathroom at home faces out from the wall. For easy access, the public bathroom TP is turned on its side and encased in armor. It even includes a blade, because they feel people are too weak to rip thin paper. But what ends up happening is that the angle is as awkward as possible, and you end up cutting yourself on the blade. And once you finally get a piece, you realize that the toilet paper stinks. So you're all wiped. It's time to wash your hands. Some bathrooms have normal sinks, but most of them refuse to provide this convenience. There's the automatic sinks. These are like the toilets but the evil red eye is hidden, so getting them to work is even more of a challenge. And once you do get them to work, there's no means of temperature control. But even worse than the automatics are the push sinks. These sinks have a diabolical design that requires you to push a giant metal button down to get a short stream of water. This places you in a race against the water that you just can't win. So you're finally all washed. All you gotta do is grab a paper towel. Problem is, and I don't know about you, but I haven't seen a normal paper towel dispenser in years. It's all hand dryers now, to protect the environment. There's not much to say about these hand dryers, except 
that they simply don't dry your hands. You'd be better off with an old guy in a straw. Lately, I've seen some of these new super rocket-powered hand dryers. They blow so hard it feels like your skin is going to fall off. But you know what I noticed? Your hands still aren't dry. So there you have it. Everything that's wrong with the public bathrooms of today. Sure, some are content to just sit down, do their business, and walk out. But I say, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Hey, shut up! Thank mm -hmm. you.